Good evening. The time is now 7 o'clock. I'm going to call this Board of Select meeting to order for April 27, uh, 27, 22nd. And please ask that you rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call. Art Gaggy. Kevin Cunningham. Gaggy Glory. Item C is to approve the meeting minutes from Board of Select Meeting from 4 8 24. Make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from 4 8 24. I'll second it. Motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Anyone here for public comment? No. Okay. Old business, I'm going to ask that we table that again. I was reaching out again to the uh, gentleman from NECOG, and he had not returned yet uh, with an answer. I think he's waiting for one more town, and then they can come up with the actual resolution. Make a motion to table this item. I'll second it. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 New business. Item one, consider an act on tax refunds as requested by the tax collector totaling $678.45. Gordon A. Smith for 105.12. USB leasing LT for 573.33. Make a motion to approve the tax refunds in the amount of $678.45. And I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Item two, discuss and act on a letter of agreement for the establishment of multi-jurisdictional shelter. So I know there's some questions on this, but I definitely want to be, uh, be able to move forward on this. This is something that's brought forth to the legal team uh, through Demas, and they've already reviewed all of this as well. Other towns have already signed off, and we're probably one of the last ones. But if you have questions, I entertain discussion on them. I do have one more. One more. Okay. Well, I already <laughs> asked you some questions. It's okay. Yep. Do my best. And, and you answer. So, um, right at the beginning, widespread emergency. There's no definition as to what an emergency is. It could is. be anything according to American Red Cross. Okay. That's how, we're, that's how we define it. So it could be overall population. An emergency because to find overpopulation, uh, illegal immigrants moving into the town. Just when we have a situation where there's an emergency, we have to shelter that. Uh, I do understand what you're saying, but this also has to do with the agreement between the multiple towns. Mm -hmm. So I would not agree to that. We need to agree. I, I think that that's not a, an emergency, right? No population. I think what we're talking about in, in generic no, terms, case, whatever. yeah, right. weather issues. Uh, that may cause for widespread outages. We've had some in the past. They've lasted three or four days. I think those are the issues that we're really looking at here. I just had to ask because it's, you know, it's very widespread emergency. Mm -hmm. it's very well, doesn't the, the board of to get to define the emergency? As, other than what's defined in the, um, in the uh, American Red Cross? It's the really definition. following American Red Cross's decision right. on what goes on, according to this documentation. Probably Demons, too. Demons as well. Yeah. Right. And, and they work in cooperation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so as you're okay with it. I'm okay with it. You're running it. Yep. The show. And we can get out of it anytime you said that. Yep. And we just tell them to say no. Right. Okay. There's so, a clause in there to do so. I'll make a motion to act on the letter of agreement. Letter of agreement for the establishment of a multi -juris jurisdictional shelter. And I'll second it. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Item three discuss an act on changing a board select meeting date. Uh, it's only because. Um, I really didn't know when I was going to be going away, but I'm going away that week of the 10th. I'd like to modify that so we can change the June 10th to June 3rd. Make a motion to change the board select the meeting date from June 10th to June 3rd, 2024. And I'll second it. All right. We'll let you go with that. Thank you. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, you very much. When you're out of town, what goes on? Who goes I on? I receive all the phone calls still. 
Yeah. When you're on vacation, so why do you leave the country? I'm still on, on call, 24-7. So when you, so uh, when otherwise they're running. The departments were if running. I was to I'm be. Just what I'm asking. That's, that was my basic yeah. question. So can the departments run unless there's. Absolutely. Okay. If they have a question. If they have, so it's just like me at the store. If, if the place runs by itself, unless there's something that needs someone's attention. Last year I okay. was on a vacation and I received phone calls from the attorney, uh, from unions, trying to resolve some issues. So I've been in Italy when, it, yep. when I, yeah. Okay, that, that's happens. all my question. Yep. It, it, if I'm becoming in, unable to um, give a proper supportive answer because of, let's say, health reason, mm -hmm. I might be in the hospital, then, then we can move on to the That's different, yeah. But then it's our problem. <laughs> No, that's, no, that's either, I'm kidding. That's I'm process. Kidding. He has to, he okay. has to sign a letter yep. stating. So. Yeah. No, I understand that. Like I said, I've been in Italy and had a team phone calls because things happened at the store. So it's the same situation. I was just wondering. Yep. All right. All righty. And I'm not that far away. It's a couple hours back and forth. So. Uh, item four: Discuss and act on change order for Plainfield Town Hall Roofing Project. Uh, they're proceeding along. Mm -hmm. They replaced the uh, majority of the work. Uh, what they wanted to do is add on a change order for $5,000. They wanted to put trim on the side so that we don't have anything blowing up and over it. It's one of the bigger problems we have with some of the older roofs is they don't have a, a proper tie down for the trim. That's what the request was. So we're going to put the proper tie down? Tie down? Well, yeah, the change order is for the fascia, metal custom fabrication installation. And uh, that way it'll I don't have to worry about anything going on underneath the side corners, <coughs> sides or corners. So with your permission, if we can move forward with that, we're going to take a motion. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the $5,000 change order. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, discuss and act on requests for acceptance for donations for summer camp program. We know that we have a few of these, um, and as a matter of fact, when we get towards the end, I'm going to ask you to motion on one more. Um, we have here uh, a charitable group which has been helping the recreation department. The Gary Charitable Trust has asked them to uh, do summer camp programmings. Uh, they wanted to do the first and the second payments for $25,000 each. They grand total be $50,000. So you'll see in your paperwork, you don't have it. Okay. Yeah, but there should be the form itself. It's a, it should have been included in the other form. But anyways, it's basically an application for donation policy. You'll see it on the next section there, the donation and gift policy. So they have um, offers of donations or cash or items valued at $5,000 or below may be uh, accepted by the uh, department director. But I want to make sure that it becomes public, and that's why I'm putting it onto the agenda. So would you be willing to make a motion to accept the donations from the Gary a foundation. I'll make a motion that we accept the $50,000 donation to the Vicari Charitable Trust. I'll second that. For summer kids. A motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Item six. Discuss and act on an application for an event for the anticipated donations. And this was something that was done last year. This was the Connecticut Jeep Invasion. Um, they have been um, supportive of you know, doing an event down here. It was pretty well jam-packed with Jeeps. They had about, I don't know, about 800 people over here. So it was very well attended and therefore you know, it, it does help out the local area for whether it be stopping in the store to get something, going out to eat, whatever. So I think it's a, a good It was very event. well attended yeah. and very well done. So Mark is going to put the application in with us so that we know that um, the donations will be taken properly for Project PIN. Right, two Project PINs. You guys put different things on there? Yep. Project PIN and what's the other one? Oh, I don't have a You don't? Yeah, that's why. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know All right. Project PIN and uh, Mission 22. Mission 22. I don't know who they are. Who's so you don't know who Mission 22 no. is? No. Oh. 
the, the reason why he's doing this is because we need to have a representative from those places there to take the donations, or we have a lockbox, as you can see by the policy. Mm -hmm. So they anticipate having people there for each of those. So we're not going to be handling any money, but we still have to put it on to a discussion for the application, for the event, and then the event itself leads into the anticipated donations. So if you're okay with it, which I think I would be. What's the anticipated donation? Is it Another, it, is it over 10? We don't know. No, we're taking some money at the door. But we want to make sure that the other people are there to take it. We don't want it to pass the tip. Yeah. Well, the only, the only reason I ask is if it's over 10000 mm -hmm. it comes to the board selectman. Right. If it's under, it can go right to the finance side. If we were collecting money. And we anticipated that money. So we're, not. we're not collecting the money. Never come in this way. I'm going to go right to the budget pin from that. Mm -hmm. From that bill, that Similar to like we do for Project Pen, we have a drive through right there. We're going to do the same thing hopefully June 1st. Because something like that, it's hard to anticipate, and that's why you want someone there. It's hard to anticipate how much you're going to bring in. You know what I mean? You, don't want to, you also don't want to collect the money, then bring it before us? Right. So we're, we're pretty much just saying, okay, go ahead and do it. Yes, without a minute. I'll make a motion that we let the Recreation Department do the CT Jeep Invasion and to uh, benefit recreate, the Recreate, yeah, excuse me, to benefit Project PIN and Mission 22. No, no second. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Possible cuts requested by the Board of Finance and I will say this, um, the charter says that basically is the Board Selectman or the Selectman that puts forth the budget. I do like to include you with what's going on. The only unfortunate part about number seven here, it talks about giving us approval. And we had to have things into legal, legally into a paper. So I already made these anticipated cuts. And um, there's something that really isn't going to be uh, you know, earth shattering here. Capital, it's a typo there, capital expenses mm -hmm. under rebounds. Uh, it's right now listed as 34,637. We just recently, just recently cut out of the the uh, reason why we're doing this in, in a format of every year, we're collecting those monies, is because we were going to do our five-year uh, rebounds with NECOP. And I spoke to the tax assessor. She would prefer to do uh, hire someone separate because she thinks she can do better. So we don't have to have the money in this program. So that's why we would like to take out the 34637 because the Board of Finance asked us to cut one twenty five. Uh, General Town, I did take out another ten thousand dollars in legal fees. So far this year, we're not too bad. We tight, but you know, should be about the same. So that's ten thousand off of that. Um, elections, I'll go to elections first. Election workers, um, the numbers really should come down anyway instead of going up because they're down to two well, polling places. Yeah, I was going to say we just. Yeah. So I took five thousand out of that, um, and the other one was recreation. And the the thing that I heard from. Uh, going to attend the Board of Finance meetings over the last couple of months was they wanted to know two things. One, their concern was why is it that we have an account called 1123, 1123 account is like a catch-all account. When you receive monies from an event or uh, let's say they're running up a special program they have to pay $50 to attend the program. So we receive the monies from that but there's also expenditures from it. So the 1123 has been a uh, useful by the recreation department to be able to be more fluid with the money going in and out. However, it really honestly isn't appropriate because you really want to have it so that everybody knows what it is. So if you take a look in the new, newly proposed budget that is online, um, and I can get your copy afterwards, but basically it states that there's now a revenue line on the first page for, for, for uh, recreation. And it anticipates about $129,000 coming in from all the programs. And then there's a, an offset number within the recreation budget of how much it's going to cost to run those. So that's why it was put there. That's really something that was uh, trying to be proactive to the, the request from the Board of uh, Finance. The other thing that was that I heard loud and clear from different members of the Board of Finance is, um, and it, they, they said, there's only one person I didn't talk to, but the other six voting members, um, and even one of the um, alternates said the same thing. Take a look at the uh, budget line for uh, the recreation director. He was asking for an increase of 20% for salary. 
They didn't think that was appropriate. The other one was uh, a person who is now his assistant, who's been there for four months, looked like they were getting a 5% pay rate. So that is what they were concerned with. So those are the two numbers that I knocked back, back down to the uh, appropriate numbers. And you'll see in touch. I have a question. So on the legal fees, so if we appropriate a certain amount of money mm -hmm. and we go, we, we go over, going that, over if we go over that, what happens? Okay. Um, like anything else in the budget, and that's part of the reason why I moved from January, uh, sorry, June 10th to June 3rd, mm -hmm. that'll be the final number for the line item transfers. So what we do there is we look at everything. We, we look at that all the time. And really, it's, you can see in your budget numbers, yes. there's some things that are behind and there's some things that are doing well. Mm -hmm. um, and you never know. You're really just uh, forecasting a budget. And like you said, if it goes over for, and we use that as an example for legal, we anticipate looking towards the end of May, what our numbers are, we also will be in contact with the, because they send their, their bills a month late. Uh, we would anticipate what we'll be looking for for the next, you know, 60 days. So it'll be all of June, maybe, uh, when we finally finish off. And then give us an estimate. So let's say we'll be over by maybe $5,000. We would uh, definitely have that into the line of transfers at the end of June. So that way we can make sure that we're covered for all of those things. So it helps. I mean, we have to forecast and be in contact with. So if you're over in, so say you went over in the legal fees mm -hmm. and you were you, you were under in another department, yep. you could line out a trans, yep, I, I know transfer. Yep. Okay, that was my question. Yeah, and, and they try to keep it in the same department. It tried, that's the first try. Okay. Uh, like the police chief has been doing within his own, yes. um, we try. If, if there's something there though, um, then we look for other areas to you know be able to uh, utilize the services and monies for. So that's, it's, it's a tough one. Yep. So usually, yeah, we usually reach out, like in this case, we would reach out to the attorneys, uh, try to guesstimate what we're looking for for the remainder of the year. I can tell you right now that I, I while we're good right now, we may not be because we have four unique contracts going on. And I need the attorneys there for um, legal opinions and where we go with certain things. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to wrap up one, maybe two of those union, unions probably in the next couple of weeks. And um, the other one is just starting Wednesday, one of the other contracts. And it's unfortunate that the same person who is su uh, supporting uh, union representatives from Harvard, he's supporting two of these. And he wants to do one of them first and then he'll get to the second one. So. No, you can't do that in two separate budgets, correct? You could. You could, so you could yep. line item transfer from this year's budget? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no that's no, my question. That's my question. No, I'm just talking about contract negotiations. Yes. That can continue. I understood that. Yep. yep. If they go into the next budget year, it's usually retroactive. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. The raise increases. Oh, I know the raise increases. Yep. We'll I'm talking about July. legal fees. No, I, yeah. I've been no. in many negotiations. Mm -hmm. Positive. Right? And, and I just looked up the legal fees for this year. We're at 39%. Yep. But so we have all the contracts. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't want to, just to get it done, I don't want to give up everything, but I want to be able to do it the right way. So we're working on it. So uh, that's what I was doing. Um, you don't, in my opinion, you don't have to vote on these. If you wanted to, that's fine. But I think these are the things that I put forward first. And I look very carefully. So I try not to take money away that would um, impact the department when we put them in the, in the red so we have to come back and line them transfers anyway. So I believe that those for next year, by doing those changes, we should be okay. Yeah, they look reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, they look yes. And I, I put an email out to staff yesterday. I put an email out to staff, the department head, saying, I don't believe that this is going to be the last round. I would like to sit down and meet with everybody and see if you can give me something that might help out to cover smaller numbers, much smaller numbers, but still be able to add to something. So um, you have to always be prepared, and I think that's important because we have a meeting on May 6th, which is a public hearing for the town. And um, at this point, what's out there in the budget for the public to know is that it's a 0.53 mil increase. May 6th. Oh, May, I'm sorry, May. May 6th. Okay. And yeah, that's the usual first Monday of May public hearing. And at that night, usually there's a special board of finance meeting right after the public hearing. And after listening to the public of what changes they could or couldn't do, sometimes they might add something back in. 
very rare. But sometimes they might uh, look to uh, take more uh, to make it to make more cuts, um, and they'll do that at that meeting. And that way, it can legally go into the paper again. So it is a legal document for the public to be able to read through and know exactly what it is. Um, you'll see in the Turnpike Fire probably tomorrow our one page that we have for our legal notice of what the budget will look like. Uh, so sort of the same thing will happen uh, for hopefully it will be May 13, 14. May 14th is the Turnpike Fire comes up. Yeah. And we have to have it in the, turn, in the Norwich Bulletin as well. That's getting to be a problem, I think. Yes. So, um, anyways. So, anyways, I still like to make a motion. Go ahead. That, that we cut 125000 off the town side budget. And I'll second it. And all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, I passed your paper, if I wouldn't mind, if you would consider. Before you get into this, yeah. we didn't put it on the agenda. But, oh. That's why I want to do it. I want to motion it to the agenda. Yeah. If uh, someone could please motion to the agenda item 8, discuss and act on the request to ex uh, for acceptance of donations uh, to training for Officer Diaz from the village for $4,200. I'll make that motion. And I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. So item 8 was, um, there's not much to go on here, but I did take a copy really quickly. Um, Officer Diaz went to a training, it cost that much money, therefore he's looking to recoup uh, via, not, the, uh, not him personally, but actually through uh, to the training session in uh, uh, the police department. So there's a reimbursement check. Uh, so, so Officer Diaz became a certified celebrity operator and uh, physical an analyst. The cost associated with that is a $4,200, which was submitted in payment. Uh, September 18, 2023. Please see the attached documents. And there is a little bit here, not much to go on. I just want to read through that. That's what it looks like. Um, and there's a copy of the check. Um, so the training was uh, reimbursed by the village for families and children. And there's a check number on there, 618166. Uh, we're looking to see if you are okay with the reimbursement, which is part of that um, donation policy. You want to make sure we're up front with it. What is the village? Um, they have, again, they have it up here. Celebrate. So they are a, a village for families and children, Inc., out of Parker. Okay. I thought they saw the so that's, that's what the papers look like. And this was from Mario. I was wondering if read. I'll make a motion that we accept the donation from the village for Officer Diaz's training and uh, four thousand two hundred dollars. I made a motion to approve the donation for training for Officer Diaz's work for, and this donation from the village for forty two hundred dollars. My, my only question is, mm -hmm. why did the PV and not here? It's a learning thing. That it, we talked about that. He didn't realize it was had to go through the process. That's why. It's doing through the process now. Okay. Yep. Reminder that we're going to go back through again boards and commissions that are in need of support. We are still looking for many people, probably five, to uh, look to see if they want to be part of the Conservation Commission. Uh, we have probably, I don't know how many openings we have still on the economic development. Was it two or three? Three. So, Kevin, on the front page of the of the um, town, yep. when you click on openings um, for the commissions, it's not correct unless it's been fixed in the last three or four days. Uh, there would be something to be contact um, uh, the town clerk. Town clerk, okay. Yep. Yes, because what, I mean, one should be able to click on openings mm -hmm. for, under commissions, and yep. you should it should come up, yep. and it's way off. Yeah, right? it is um, something probably about two years old. Yeah. So I'm still on the board of that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just letting you know. So we're working, I mean, I would working like on that. So that, that conservation, um, you have two, three for economic? Three, you need three, three to make it seven. Okay. We yep. do have quite a good five now, Yeah. Mm -hmm. which is great. Yep. And then we have, of course, the uh, Northeast District Department of Health is looking for another representative. 
Uh, Don Gladding said he would stay on. Rob Kerr said only in a uh, alternate position. So we're looking for the representative number two. Um, and, and again, we're looking to upgrade that. So probably the next board of select meeting, we have that all updated on that. What's open? Do we need any type of certifications or anything? Like that? Oh. No. Oh. So that's the other. We have an events coming up. I don't know, maybe tomorrow yeah. or Saturday. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least, at least one. Yeah, there's at least one. Probably two. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have it all lined up for the next meeting. All right. You'll take care of that so I don't have to go Thanks, because that's, like I said, one's the corner. So the Cornhole Tournament for the Lions Club is this Saturday. It's Bags Fly at noon time. You can um, sign up on Score Holy Score Holio. It's an app. <laughs> I know it's a weird sentence, but there is an app. Um, it's to benefit the Plainfield Lions, which gives back to people in Plainfield, vision centers, um, that type of thing. So again, um, we're going to start taking uh, registering people in at 11 o'clock. So if everybody would like to come, please go to Score Holio and sign up because we are in need of players. We are looking for 50 teams. I think right now we have like 25. Be shorter than No, they'll, they all sign up this week. Yep. All of them. So if you're interested in Cornell, please come down and throw some bags for a good cause. Um, the only other thing under other that I have is we're working with the state of Connecticut on many different projects. Uh, we got the final approval from the state of Connecticut to uh, go out to uh, bid for a engineer to put the specs together for the uh, Plainfield Pavilion. That's the 140 by 60 open pavilion. Um, and so that we can start doing that right away. Um, we also have gotten final contact from the state on the sidewalk project, which we think we can make modifications to to uh, appease them. And that's going to continue probably late summer, start uh, starting over where uh, Eastern Bank is, continuing around on Lathrop. For that sidewalk project, we got the approval for the sidewalk project over at she uh, Shepherd Hill, and that will start probably in a few weeks. Uh, the attorney's working on the final pieces of paper for uh, Dow Road to close that off. And as soon as the information comes out, I'll po post it out there everywhere so that we know there'll be a road closure. Um, and those are the other things that are going on right now. So, how, Do we have any, ha, have we looked for a uh, town engineer? Yes. It's in your budget. I know it's in your budget. But I can't search for someone until we get it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, no, I know it's in my budget. I saw yeah. it in my budget. Same thing I with an IT person. Same thing. Yeah. Have, have we gotten something from Kyle that's for sure? Yeah, he's not going to be using one. He does. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because he, he, he was going to retire with me. Yeah. I want to make sure, you know what I mean? I have a meeting with him and somebody else tomorrow, so we'll be redoing all of that. All right. So we're looking for an IT person and a town engineer. Okay. Two lofty positions. We've already needed positions for the building inspector. And the building inspector, we have someone who's actually taking the test, and if he passes, um, he'll probably apply for a position here. So it'll be a full time person. Oh. Could you get those three places? It would be, oh, be helpful. It would be very helpful. Uh, we're working on the, uh, the, oh, there's one more, the historical grant for the town hall uh, that we applied for required us to have uh, somebody come in and take a look at the whole building and see what the issues are. Definitely the downstairs storage area um, is in need of filling it in. So we have to look for something else to store the materials we have down there. Um, I'll be searching around for something <coughs> expensive, but I'll try to get something that will store the materials there. In the meantime, it's been braced up, so we have some support area down there. Um, and then once we get uh, specs ready to go, because they're writing specs right now, then we can go out to bid for someone to actually Fix it. So once they fix that, then we can work on the ramp? Yep, it's all part of the front. Mm -hmm. I, was just, I was just thinking about that today. To do down below, yep. they have to do down below the foundation. Nope. Nope. No. What they're doing is they're doing a fill. Okay. So it's a cement base fill. Well, when the specs come in, I'll show you. Okay. Yep. Close the building up. As, as, as far as I know, there's no foundation on the Oh, it's open. That's why it's going to be filled in. Yeah. Well, you can't just fill it. There's no, that back wall of the 
multi-purpose room? Yeah. That's just the wall, isn't it? Right. There's, again, the specs will come in to show us how to do that properly. to see that. Yep. I was thinking how, how they would do that so that when you fill it, doesn't just slide in. Well, flood it again. They, they keep the water out. So it'll be filled with all the material. They don't know what the material is at this point. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting. Forms that go inside. There's forms. So a lot of things happening. Just also, if we had our own engineer, we'd be already done. Right. I'll send out the other channels. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Seven thirds. Long stories. I think I probably should get it sooner this time too. Unless my life was.